people of God, let me say this. Where do you learn humility? People of God, you can never learn humility anywhere other than in the house of God. Now, if the house of God cannot humble you, is it outside that will humble you? No. Now, once you're already, you know, outside there, we are all pompous, we are arrogant. We are pompous, we are arrogant. Now, you now come to the presence of God. You now want to carry that pompous nature, that arrogant nature to the church. You want the church to bow down to your pity. And most times, the way you attack the church is by gathering your people, gathering the members, and telling them, since then, they don't want to listen to us, we must be able to control the pastor, we must be able to control the church. As a result of that, we gather the people, and then we leave. And you as a member that people are busy influencing you in the church, they gather you and you leave. You should know that eternal life is far from you. Hallelujah. As a follower, the pastor, a true servant of God, is the shepherd God has called to lead you. Is the shepherd that God has invested with the secret and the mysteries of the kingdom. Remember, I am talking about a true church and a true servant of God. I am not talking about a false prophet. Hallelujah. So these are the things that we are experiencing in the church. That is why we run from pillar to pole. We are unable to maintain the blessings of God. Unable to maintain the miracle of God. We think that we can boycott God to give approval to our evil desires and our evil motives. No. When you are in the church of God, you must be humble. That's why a song says, There is something that makes me come into your presence, my helper. Now, somebody that is your helper, do you talk to your helper anyhow? Do you speak to your helper anyhow? Are you rude to your helper? Are you proud to your helper? But it is only in the church of God, people come into the presence of God with pride and arrogance. No wonder when Peter met Jesus, I mean, when Jesus met Peter at the seashore, Immediately when he saw Jesus, he said to him, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. Do you know what that means? This simply means that Peter acknowledged his position before God. He was humble in the presence of God. When he met the presence of God, he said, Ah, I need to calm down. If I am proud outside, if I am proud, if I am purpose, when it comes to the presence of God, I need to be humble. But it is not so in the church today. In the church today, the members want to control the pastor. In the church today, the members want to tell the pastor what to do. In the church today, and if the pastor does not listen to them, they will gather the members and they will leave. Hear me if you are those kind of people. Listen to me. Eternal life is far from you. You can never make heaven. And this is how you keep running from pillar to pole. You run from pillar to pole. At the end of the day, your life becomes worse than before. Worse than it is. Remember, we are talking about what we call a lasting what? Solution. A lasting solution. How do we maintain our blessing? A lasting solution. 